Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I want to talk about O-rings. I ended up buying a complete set of O-rings. <laughs> there's, there's a ton here. There's like over 800 O-rings. Um, but specifically I want to talk about uh, battle songs and O-rings. Uh, I've made multiple videos about this over the years. I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, different questions about battle song stuff, butterfly knives, um, and problems with uh, latch issues. And uh, I've always suggested using O-rings to solve a couple of these problems. So right now I have three uh, O-rings that are on this latch. This is an old 90s style uh, battle song. And the problem with the uh, older ones and some of the cheaper ones is that there's no latch gate. All right, if you're not familiar, a latch gate is some kind of obstruction. Usually it's a piece that's in the frame that does not allow the latch to come so far down to where it can come in contact with the blade edge. So in this case, there's no latch gate. So when you're flipping this knife, it's very possible for that blade edge to hit the latch, okay, as it's flopping around and stuff. Um, simple solution uh, for this was three little O-rings, all right? I push these all the way down, and it keeps the latch pretty much straight. So as the latch wants to flop, it hits those O-rings. Now, the reason there's three of them here is because if you have just one, uh, it'll loosen up quickly, all right? So as you're flipping, it'll push the O-rings with enough pressure. They'll keep sliding until eventually it can go down, right? Uh, adding a second and a third one makes it less possible for that. You could also just uh, stack these all the way up to the top. I could put like eight or nine in here uh, so that when the last one creates pressure, it has nowhere to move anymore and therefore the latch will literally stay straight out the entire time, very similar to a spring latch, okay? Um, something else you could do is if you have a sloppy play inside of your, your battle song, let me pop these two off here and get back to you. All right, so just keeping one on here. If you have a, a lot of play in your latch, okay, you can add one uh, single O-ring to create more pressure. Like for example, normally this latch would just flop, you know, open because it's loose, has uh, very sloppy tolerances. Just the one O-ring in there is gonna keep that from coming undone when the knife is closed, or of course when the knife is open, okay, and latched, it'll also create just that little bit of pressure in between that pushes the handles apart, which keeps the latch from coming undone. All right, so you can also resolve that problem uh, with a single O-ring. So there's a couple different things you could do with these O-rings, uh, specifically on you know butterfly knives or ballast songs. But I want to kind of talk about O-rings in general here, just because I find that it is so handy. Now I never have O-rings laying around except for maybe some random ones that I have uh, that come you know as a spare set in a flashlight or something, right? And I have like random sizes here and there. And over the years, occasionally I'll have to steal an O-ring from something to use on something else, and then the original item doesn't have it anymore, right? So I finally decided to get uh, a set, a full complete set of O-rings, all right? This comes with two boxes. There's a blue box and a red box. The red box is uh, standard, all right? It says universal on there, and the blue box is all the metric sizes. So you could see the actual uh, size chart on here, and there's a ton of them, okay? You see the quantity, there's 20 of these, 20, 13 of these. Obviously, as they get bigger, there's less of them. Uh, but if you open this up to show you, all right, little snap in the front. You can see there's just, there's tons. Every size, literally every size imaginable, from big old fat O-rings, right, to little tiny ones, and everything in between. So I'm good on O-rings for the rest of my life, even little teen, teeny tiny ones. Um, there's two reasons I got this. Number one, because I'm always looking for O-rings. And more recently, my father has been working on a uh, Harley. He got a, a deal, he traded something for uh, a used Harley and it had some issues and stuff. So he's been working on it for a while now, uh, little by little, trying to get it running. It runs actually, the engine's totally fine, but he has a little oil leak and um, he has a couple O-rings that he needed to replace and actually took an O-ring from his pressure washer for the bike. And it turned out to not be the right O-ring. So part of me getting this, these kits is that I can also bring this up next time I am able to actually see him. Who knows when that's going to be. Um, but, you know, I'm able to share these. So this is basically a family set of uh, O-rings. I have more O-rings than I'm ever going to use. So he'll actually have a, a need for them in the future, um, as well as myself. Uh, I've been trying to fix my own pressure washer, which is many years old. It's probably 15 years old now. Uh, Honda motor on there runs perfectly. There's no problem at all with the uh, the motor. Uh, my issue right now is old parts. So like the hose that I had on there, the actual pressure washer hose that goes to the wand, um, that blew a hole in the side. But before that, I was going to replace the O-rings on it because the O-rings look like they might have uh, some issues and a little tear here and there. Um, so I figured as I'm working on that, 
it's also good to have O-rings. You just never know. I mean, if you really think about it, if you're older, if you're you know watching the video, you're 12 years old, maybe you never need an O-ring. Uh, but if you know, you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, or older, I'm sure there's plenty of occasions where it might have been good to have a set like this. Uh, the older I get, the more I realize how important tools are. And this is just another tool. That's all. It's not physically a tool. It's not like a wrench set or anything like that. Um, but O-rings are just something that you don't really think about until you need them. And in the past, when I have needed O-rings, like I said, I would either steal it from something existing, kind of like if you need a you know, AA battery, take it out of your remote control, only to later you know, have to replace them in your remote control. Right? What's the point of robbing it from one area to only replace it? So now they actually have you know, two full sets of O-rings. Uh, I'll always have them. So here's the other set here. All right, literally just slightly different sizes. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, uh, I spent, I think, $17 or $18 on this complete set, both boxes. Um, you know, so for less than 20 bucks, I got over 800 O-rings. Uh, I think I'm good. I'm good for a uh, very long time. Uh, like I said, my application for battle songs has always been extremely useful. It's something I've always recommended to people. And people always ask me, well, hey, where can I get O-rings? And I always tell them, like, go down to Lowe's or Home Depot, whatever. And maybe you spend, I don't know, a dollar or two dollars, whatever, for like a bag. But more times than not, it's not a variety pack. It's like you're stuck with one size. And in the case of battle songs, you only really need the small ones. Um, but why not get a big old set like this, you know? So that's my recommendation. Anyway, just wanted to share this with everyone. Um, it's just one of those things in my entire life. I never really thought much about it. And uh, I'm very happy with my, you know, less than $20 investment. Uh, I will always have the O-rings that I need for whatever project I happen to be working on. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.